Sehr verehrte Zuschauerinnen und Zuschauer. Dear viewers, the terror organization Islamic State IS makes the global community shiver and one wonders how it could come to such an enormous extent of cruelty and radicalization. Everywhere there calls for a stronger appearance of the USA as world police. As already presented in German Klagomar TV on September 11th, the Islamic State though is, according to former CIA agent Stephen Kelly, an enemy that has been artificially created and financed by the USA. The following two examples show that this claim is quite comprehensible. They prove that the US governments made use of terror in the past as well as in the present to achieve their goals. First example, the Mujahideen in Afghanistan. Different groupings call themselves Mujahideen who fought in Afghanistan against the Soviet occupying troops between 1979 and 1989. They received financial and material support especially from the United States and Saudi Arabia. The deliveries of arms and the training of many combatants were organized by the American Secret Service CIA. The CIA invested several mil billion US dollars into the advancement of the Islamic insurgents and several million dollars in making and distribution of militant Islamic textbooks. Yes, that's right. We're talking about so-called Islamic manuals which were initiated and produced by the CIA. These books were filled with violent pictures, militant tenets and Quran verses taken out of context. With this, the Afghan school children were taught in the doctrine of Jihad and the Holy War on behalf of the US government. We come to the example number two, the People's Mujahideen. This is a militant opposition movement in Iran. The former US government of President Bush wanted to use this opposition movement to effect a change of regime in Iran. It sounds absurd that the Bush government concluded an agreement with an organization which they had themselves publicly classified and termed as terroristic. How far the cooperation meanwhile has progressed, Ray McGovern, a CIA employee, recently told the ARD magazine Monitor. His reply to the question why the CIA is now cooperating with the People's Mujahideen was, I think because they are on the spot and because they are willing to be used by us. Earlier they went for a terror organization and that's exactly what they are. But now they are our terrorists. Valued viewers, these are clear words which verify the visualization in our film Modern Wars. Many more proof cases like these could be listed. But let's summarize the course of action that we can see based on these two examples. The US government makes use of opposition groups in many countries of the world, finances them, trains them, provides them with weapons and radicalizes them. They classify them as terror associations or make them partners, however it serves their own purposes. This aspect has been already very well presented and summarized through a broadcast of September 10th. Is George W. Bush a prophet? See for German Cloud TV. 4083. Also, we want to mention the broadcast Modern Wars. How do they work to you? You can see it in the broadcast from July 6, 2014. Please spread our broadcasts and thus bring to light these dark criminal schemes. There has now been enough bloodshed. The peoples claim their right to peace. Have a good evening.